All right, now we have these built-ins all painted, all done, but you can see over here that they are unfinished on this side. That is for a very specific reason, because we are going to be finishing this off with a desk. So the desk is going to hide that end. We don't need to finish it off. And we're gonna be getting to work on that. Right, buddy? Right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. The first thing to do when planning this desk was deciding on how we would support it. I had a very specific vision for this desk and that vision didn't have legs per se. So I decided on these floating wall brackets from ironsupports.com. They hold a lot more weight than this desk will be, so it'll surely be supported. These are more commonly seen in new builds or builds taken down to the studs, but I thought they were really cool, so I wanted to use them, and I knew I'd be using a wall covering. So you only live once, I thought, why not? Cut these big holes in my wall and attach the brackets to the studs. Then I covered them with this beadboard, which I actually love, and it's my first time using it ever. So for 50 bucks and some trim to cover up the janky spots, we have a full feature wall. Lots of people say don't use construction adhesive on stuff like this, but I always do. I just think it looks better. Plus, if I want to change it in the future, it's definitely not going to be for textured drywall. Now we can get started on making this desk. Now the whole desk is made out of this one sheet of birch plywood that's a four by eight. It's gonna be a corner desk, so we measured the depth and length of each side, and I wanted Steve to be able to sit in the corner, so once we drew the lines for each side, it came to a point and I measured out 12 inches from there and drew a straight line to give that nice corner desk feel. We also got this huge 100 inch clamp to help us with the straight lines. You'll see us cutting a really long piece here. That is because we are using this side for the waterfall edge so the wood grain falls continuously over the edge. The biggest thing we learned when cutting this plywood is that you definitely want to get a blade with the highest amount of teeth you can possibly find we got one with 40 teeth and it did such a beautiful cut. There was no tear out or anything. So it really made me feel comfortable being able to use this for a really nice application like a desk. The circular saw couldn't get those corners so we just came back with the jigsaw to get that extra inch. We created the waterfall edge by cutting off the leg at a 45 degree angle and the desktop at 45 degrees as well. We did something similar on the other side where the desk will run into the built-in window seat and that's why it was left unfinished. Oh my gosh, where this is. Sick ass wall, dog. <laughs> that's not our fault. Well, we're gonna clip that in, aren't we? Uh, maybe. Okay, well, it hits here, there's gaps, but it has it. Baseboard versus the, the, the table? Oh yeah, maybe the table. 
saying this is too long because when I try to put this, the bottom hits first. Mm -hmm. So if it was over this way more, it would go in because this has to angle out so that this lines up flush. What if we cut a line right here, all the way across in between the angle? I'm gonna line there and take a little tiny piece of plywood that fits in there, and then that other one goes and it slides into it too, so it's like a piece that's supporting it. A spline, if you will. Where? And on the face here, you go from here and you go right across the center like you that. You cut it? Yeah, you cut a little like rabbit, a little hole, yeah. all the groove, and then a, a piece of like plywood or a piece yeah. of wood goes in there. And the same thing on that side, it's cut, and then that slides into that groove, like tongue and groove. Mm -hmm. And then that helps it kind of stay there. Mm. That makes me nervous. Okay. We did so good, and I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so then this one just has to go up with some like, with glue. With um, shims. 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 Yeah, oh, to go off of the ground. Yeah. Too. So we can like put it up to it, throw it off of the ground, like, oh, it makes it, and then that like holds it up, and then somehow clamp the corner. Before putting this desk up, I wanted to make sure to get this beadboard all painted. I cut in all the cracks with a brush and then rolled over top. So we cut this desk out of one single sheet of plywood. It worked out perfectly to have just the right size for this space. The only thing that happened while cutting, everything was beautiful except for this one spot. It kind of pulled up a little bit. So I was very careful to leave that there. What we're gonna do now is pull it up, wood glue it, clamp it down, and it'll look perfect after that. I cut out the baseboards where the waterfall edge will go so that it sits flush against the wall. Now we're trying to get these to line up for the waterfall edge that we're gonna have on this side and that side. So it was hitting right here in the corner. I thought maybe I needed to cut this down um, to come in a little bit, but what I tried, well, what I noticed was that this was a portion hitting and then it would just create this big gap here like that. So we initially cut this and this at a 45 degree angle. I went back out there, cut this at a 50 degree angle and look at that, perfect. So there's a little bit of overhang here, but that's not a big deal because of how um, we're gonna be covering the edge. And I would rather this be flush on this outside and have a little gap here than the other way around. I made sure to sand everything down. Even though we're not staining, we are sealing and we want the nicest finish possible. To secure this desktop, the manufacturer just suggests using construction adhesive to glue the countertop to the brackets, so that's exactly what we did, and set some weights on top to make sure it was pressed firmly against the brackets. Then all we used for the waterfall edges was wood glue, and I taped it in place to make sure it was nice and snug, wasn't going anywhere until it was finished drying. These waterfall edges turned out so beautifully, I could not have asked for a better piece of plywood or for the process to go more smoothly. I hung up some floating shelves above the desk area after I painted them the same color as the wall for a monochromatic look. You can check out my Amazon shop for a lot of the products I used in this renovation and you can see all the decorating and how it turned out in the final reveal video that is linked here. After wood filling, give it a very light sand to make sure the layer of plywood doesn't come off. For any gaps that are bigger than just being filled with caulk, you can use this backer rod. It comes in various different sizes, but I shoved this in behind the desk and it was the perfect thing to help me finish the edge against the wall. Now remember we used plywood for this desk, which means the edge doesn't look great, 
but that's okay. We're gonna cover it up. So I got three quarter inch edge banding. All you do is iron it on and it makes the edge look like it is solid wood. I cut the edge banding at all of the corners. I tried just wrapping it around, but it started breaking. So for a nice crisp line, I just cut it at all the creases. I intended on the waterfall edge just ending at the floor, but once it was there, it definitely needed something else. So I caulked it. That looked terrible. So I found these little pieces of trim and cut them to go all the way around the waterfall edge. It was the perfect touch. Now the edge banding looked pretty good, but if you take a few minutes to just sand it down flush with the plywood, it really blends in and you cannot tell that it's not a solid piece of wood. Finally, let's seal this bad boy. I didn't do any stain. I just sealed this with a polycrylic and clear satin, which will give this a very durable finish. Thanks for watching this video and following along with our projects. If you haven't checked out the other One Room Challenge projects for this office, they are linked above including the Ikea hack for the window bench next to this desk. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to see what's coming next. Thanks and see you next time.